Star Wars characters who fans think deserve their own Disney Plus show. Qui-Gon Jinn. Fans want to know, would you ever rejoin the Star Wars franchise with your own series? No, I don't do television. I don't do the small screen. Give me an action. Action. Hey, I'm Lyle Nelson. I'm Liam Neeson. And Esquire has asked me to explain some things about my life and career. Let's dive in, shall we? Okay, I'm looking at a meme here that says, listen to me carefully, there isn't much time. Put your left leg in, then take your left leg out, then put your left leg in and shake it all about. That's very funny. Who do you think is the most powerful character you've ever created? Zeus, for God's sake, king of the gods, god of the gods. Who's the best lightsaber skills? Uh, Ewan McGregor, because he's young, handsome, fit. Well, I'm fit too, but Ian, yeah, yeah, definitely. You've done some fantastic comedy for Cameo. Which was most fun for you? Anchorman 2 was great. I love Will Farrell. I love all that gang. Myself and my son, Michael, were in the, the fight scene. We were representing the History Channel. That was cool. And Derry Girls too. It was a great honor to be on that show. The Princess Bride story. Okay, it was many years ago. And I was out in LA and I met the ca uh, casting director. He said, oh, we're going to be casting in London for a movie called The Princess Bride and directed by Rob Reiner, who was Meathead in All the Family, Meat All in the Family. So anyway, I went back to London where I was living at the time. I eventually got a call to meet Rob Reiner for the part of the giant in The Princess Bride. Went up to meet Rob Reiner and he was there with the casting lady. I came in the door, Rob Reiner looked at me and went, Hey, I asked for a giant. What are you? you? I said, I'm six foot four. Come on, I need a giant. He didn't even say hello, thank you. And one day I will meet you, Rob Reiner, and I'm going to have words with you, pal. You were rude, very rude. Liam Neeson says, horse from Buster Scruggs remembered him from another film. It's true. The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, Coen Brothers movie, we shot it four or five years ago in New Mexico. And this horse, I have a, a wagon. Uh, this horse is pulling the wagon. And the horse master said, you know, this is the horse you rode in a Western I did years before that. And the horse, I knew it recognized me. Its ears went like that. It was like, Liam, it's you. I love your work. I saw the Taken movies. And you just kill it. How have you been? I said, I'm fine. You know, how have you been? Well, f look what I'm doing. I'm pulling this f***ing wagon. So I gave it some candy bar. And uh, it was... I'm sure, I know it recognized me. The character of Darkman, well, it was a lead. It was Sam Raimi, whom I really, really liked, even though the, the part involved from three hours makeup to five and a half hours makeup, five days a week. It was cool and it was funny and it was exciting. It was many years ago. Would I return to it? No, I wouldn't. Liam Neeson's amateur boxing background before he became a Hollywood star. What's your relationship to boxing today? We're lovers. Boxing and I, I do love the sport, and it is a sport. It's pure poetry to see two fighters that are equally fit, competent, more than competent at what they do. That to me is like a poem. I often know you recognized from this role, it's love. Actually, I'm not sure actually. However, that coat, I still wear that coat. My son borrows it too, but I still have that coat. It's my favorite coat, and it's gotta be 17, 18, maybe 19 years old. Yes, there's one movie that uh, fans really go crazy. It's called Pilgrim's Progress, written by John Bunyan. They go crazy for it. Yeah, I guess those Tugan movies too. They seem to like those. As regards movie genre, genres, I haven't tried comedy. We're about to put that to the test in the year 2023, when we try to resurrect the Naked Gun franchise, made famous by the wonderful and late Leslie Nielsen, get it? Leslie Nielsen, Lyle Nelson, Liam Nielsen. It'll probably be the end of my career because I'm about as funny as a baby holding a razor blade. How did I prepare to play a film noir role? Well, it was in the 19, the film set in the 1930s. Very cool costumes. Rain Max, Trilby hats, a lot of rain. And read a lot of Raymond Chandler who created uh, Philip Marlowe, the private investigator, made famous by Humphrey Bogart, Ask Your Grandparents, Elliot Gould, Ask Your Parents, and now Lyle Nelson.
Okay, you cinema lovers. You guys call it theater. It's a cinema. You go and watch Marlowe. Otherwise, I will find you. And you know what's going to happen.